and welcome to our F1 2020 team career. We are in Spain. I've got a good feeling about this track. I think we are going to be doing better. We've got some parts which have been put onto the car which should help us. Practice went well, so let's see how we're going to do in qualifying. I'm hopeful that we can get into the top 10 at least. And then from there, we can do battle with the leaders. Push it, uh, push it as much as I can on the straight here. I am looking forward to upgrading our aero package. You know what I want with the car? I don't want it to be too much like the Mercedes car. They're great, they are very fast, but I do like the aero package of the Red Bull, so I might go for a mix between the two. Might not, might not give us the title winning car straight away, but should be able to challenge them at least for points more consistently and this is why I hope I can bring in a, a stronger teammate, possibly George Russell. I see I could do better than that. But we're gonna go to the pits for now. I feel I lost a bit of time, so I think I have got some I think I've got something to play with Mercedes. Three times quicker than the Ferrari. A second quicker than one of the Red Bulls. See, I'm not that much quicker than Gasly. I am going to have to go out again, I think. Just for safety reasons. I do know that we have got a bit of time to play with. Because I made a couple of mistakes. So... If I can keep it nice and clean, we might be able to get to safety. I think it's going to be very close in the midfield battle though. This track is definitely going to be for those with faster engines. We might do our payouts. Myself, I feel comfortable. I do feel comfortable racing on this track, I just don't know if I'm going to be fast enough with my team. Yeah, I think I need new tyres. I'm trying to use the same tyres so that we keep some for Q1, uh, Q3. I want to focus on that. I, I think I am going to be able to get through. All I do is get through each qualifying session. I should get five attempts on that. Can we do it, guys? Can we do it? A bit tidier than the last one, but it's not fantastic. At any six attempts is still a lot for us. Five attempts. Oh this section here, I'm not quick enough on this section, I lost, oh I got a bit there, I was going to say I lost a lot of time but I've actually gained a little bit, ok that is a bit better, right let's go to the pits now, I think I'm safe to skip to the next session, 
Let's have a look. Let's fast forward. I think we're definitely safe. I don't think these are going to close the gap anymore. Let's have a look. Yeah, we qualify for the next one. It's very close between the Mercedes and Verstappen. And then there's a 7 tenth gap to the Ferrari. See, it's not just us. We are a long way off the pace, but so is everybody else. It's crazy. Albert, this is more realistic. That is more realistic. Red Bull are fast, but he's a long way off his own teammate. This is going to be an absolute battle, isn't it? Where's our teammate? 18th? Not bad. Not bad at all. So, he's managed to split a few of them. Right. Tyres. What am I going to start on? We've only got the option of the soft tyre. Okay, I've got to try and get into the top 10 without using any more tyres up. Okay, our strategy is going to be firmly fixed on plan A. We can't use any more plans because it's not going to let us use the medium tyres for some reason. I would have personally rather have used the medium and then started on that and then gone to the soft. But if we don't qualify in the top 10, I'll do that anyway. I'll pick my tyre. This could be a better lap for us, I think. My first sector is never too bad. This sector's okay ish for me, but it's the final sector. That final part for me is just dreadful. Well, not dreadful, but not what I want it to be. Carlos Sainz 121. Yeah, I want to be competing with him for the top 10. Lauren are a huge target. we might be safe. I'm not 100% certain but we might be safe now so I might be able to save the rest of my tyres. Only Hamilton. On the, see this this is going to be difficult. Both, both of the Red Bulls have gone for the medium tyre. Hamilton's gone for the medium. This is where it's going to get extremely difficult. I'm going to have to just fast forward. I can't set any more time I'm happy with where I am. I think we're definitely going to be safe. There's quite a few cars going for medium. We're going to be on a complete different strategy to everybody else around us. Which means in Q3 I need to get up as far as I can up the grid. This is going to be difficult. Right, I'm going to set my lap time, regardless of where we finish, we're going to get to the race and hopefully do something with it. I fear this is going to be our most difficult race yet because there's so many of them gone with the medium tyre.
Can we do it? That's the big question here. What am I going to be doing in this title race? Um, no doubt I'm not going to win it. I don't. Have okay, I've gone wide there. That's going to screw me up. But doesn't matter. We can always have another run. I don't think I'm going to win this race. I don't think I'm going to come anywhere near winning the race. But I do think that what I do in this championship is going to decide who wins it because so far I've affected the last few races. I affected the last one in a huge way. Hamilton could have won that if it wasn't for me. This one it also depends on where I finish. But mainly, I don't know, maybe in this in this race I can get a foothold and maybe I don't know, maybe we could win it. If we get a good start. Uh, I've got no chance. Absolutely no chance at all. Made a few mistakes though. Right. Let's just get a bank lap. Do a second one. Yeah, what I was trying to say earlier, um, I think I'm going to be a threat to some of them in the championship. I don't think I'm going to win the championship, but I think I'm going to be the dark horse. I'm going to be a factor in it. I think I'm going to be that person that possibly changes the outcome. I think before, the Mercedes drivers would have run away with it. But some of these races, maybe even this one, I could change where other people would have finished and I think if I can be more consistent I could change the way the championship goes because maybe I win some races which were destined for Hamilton or Bottas maybe I do what I did in the last race and stop one of them from taking the lead therefore Making someone like the staff and win it. Right, let's get to the pits. I don't think it's going to be very interesting though. Okay, fifth place. Ooh, we're only a few. Seven tenths ain't bad. We could. This is what I'm talking about. I could be a factor in this. I could ruin Hamilton's season here. Let's go out, set one more lap time, see what I can do. Can I, can I jump ahead of them? Can I bridge the gap? Seven tenths behind the lead. Can I do something? I'm not going to get on pole, but maybe I can do something different. Maybe I can get onto the front row. Maybe I can even get pole. Seven tenths though, so it's going to be a big ask. Could I do it? Even moving up one position is good. Especially if Hamilton does improve. And with a really good start, we could really change the whole course of the race. If we get out in front and do my usual defensive tactics that I usually do, manage to hold them up as much as possible, for as long as possible, the race could change though. I was going to say, it isn't easier to overtake here than in the last race, but from so many races I've seen in the Spanish Grand Prix, it's actually quite difficult to overtake in Spain. So maybe I could do something here. Yeah, I'm not quick enough yet. Okay, I'm gonna go again. Yeah, I'm not gonna go any faster on this one. Maybe the next lap will do it. 
on some parts of this track and I'm slow on others. It's going to be very close. I do all of this on controller. I have heard that it's easier on steering wheel. But I'll upgrade my setup eventually. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Right. Let's just get to the pits. It's no point. I'm not going to pull off five temps on one corner. We did our best, guys. But that is where we're going to finish, unless someone jumps us at the end. And with qualifying complete, Seventh let's place. review our top three mm. today. Verstappen, Bottas Not and bad. Sebastian Vettel. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. So, Verstappen once again is in first place. Hamilton, fourth position. I don't think he's going to be able to hold on to the championship, but... It's going to be a very close race. We are in 7th. We are ahead of the Renault and the McLarens. But the Red Bulls and the Ferraris and the Mercedes are a little bit too quick for us. Maybe my pace in the race may be able to do something. We'll see. Anyway, let's go to the race. The fans really seem to enjoy that. It made it look easy. It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. How do you feel this season is going for you? Is the car competitive? Great. Well, that's everything. She's very happy with that. Honest, I've never seen her so happy just because I answered a few questions. Right, I beat him in qualifying. My claim should go up. Well, I beat him as well. Not surely my team of claim should go up more than that. All right, I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Okay. Okay, the weather's not going to affect us. This is going to be a very interesting race. Alright. Let's do it, guys. Let's try and get in the top three. Welcome along then to what promises to be another fascinating Spanish Grand Prix. A race which saw Max Verstappen win on his first ever appearance with the Red Bull team in 2016. This after the dramatic coming together of Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg on the first lap. Will we see more moments for the scrapbook here today? It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high-speed excitement to be found, including the flat-out Turn 3 and the terrifying blind right of Turn 9. And a warm welcome, of course, to my co-commentator here today, someone of tremendous experience and insight. 
It's the man himself, Anthony Davidson. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? Besides that, of course, any kind of turn one incident could completely turn the race on its head. Let's keep our fingers crossed everyone can get through in one piece. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Vettel, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Albon. The owner driver, Ricardo, Sainz, and Lando Norris. Perez, Ocon, Lance Stroll, and Gasly, Grosjean. Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Nobuharu Matsushita. Giovinazzi, Fiat, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Well, here we go. This is going to be an incredible Spanish Grand Prix. I just know it. And they are go. What a great start by Bottas. Quite a bit. Oh, I'm trying to get my best. Can I get past the Ferrari? I'm going through the middle. Bottas takes the lead. I have to stop, but I've managed to get ahead of the Ferraris. They come round. Oh, it's a battle. What a battle we have here. Oh, and there's a spin. The Ferrari of Leclerc has spun, and there's been a crash. And they're all blocked. Oh, they are so bunched up because of this crash at the beginning. What are they going to do? We go straight to the the very front of the pack. Bottas leads from Verstappen, from Hamilton, and then I am in fourth, trying my absolute best on the fast tyres. So much action already. This is a battle now. Hamilton, can he do something about me? Can he get past me again and get into third? Right now, I have got the pace of these fast tyres to use to my advantage. Bartas is doing a fantastic job. He's opened a bit of a gap ahead. Is Vettel doing an incredible job this weekend? There's a bit of a gap opening up. The clerk isn't happy that he spun again. Second race in a row. My teammate isn't doing too good at the moment. He's not really anywhere. And as usual, the back of the grid, the Williams drivers. Bottas seems to be holding a very comfortable lead. Verstappen is not challenging him. I seem to be in third place now, that is it. I think I've done my part. Once again, as I explained earlier, I'm going to be a factor in this championship and I think this is it. Hamilton should be ahead of me, but because of the tyre advantage, I've managed to use it and get ahead of him. Whether or not I'll be able to stay ahead of him for the rest of the race is a question. I doubt it. They do have the advantage of being on the slower tyre, the more durable tyre, which means they can stay a lot longer than I can. Vettel, he also has the advantage of being on the harder tyre for now. McLaren versus Ferrari. A very old rivalry. Can he do something now? Can Carlos Sainz get himself in the battle? Albon is just hanging on there instead of doing anything in particular. He's doing what he has done for the last few races. Be there, thereabout, but not really have much of an impact on the race. Norris is another one. He's not really doing anything. He's doing just enough to score points, but he's not really helping his teammate. We have the Haas together. Followed closely by Alfa Romeo. My teammate. I don't really want to 
comment much on my teammate at the moment. There are huge rumours that I will be re replacing him very soon. I want to try George Russell in my team. How is this possible? I have managed to get into second place. I'm obviously using the pace of these tyres really well. I don't think I'll stay in second for long. Verstappen and Hamilton are all over my back. Hamilton just can't find a way past Verstappen. I'm holding him up myself. It's not like I'm pulling away. But it is the most exciting part of the race so far. The battle for second. Oh, I've, that is not good. Made a mistake there and they've closed up. I am definitely going to have to go in the pits very soon. I think right now I'm doing what I, I said I would. I am changing the championship. This would have been a lot different if I would have stayed in my position. In 8th place, 9th place, 10th place. And just let everybody else get on with it. But I'm not here to do that. I'm here to try and get my team as many points as possible. And if I ruin the championship for the others, then so be it. Bottas is getting an easy ride here. He doesn't even have to push. He could just stay out as long as he wants. At the moment, Verstappen and Hamilton are going to be wasting their tyres because they're trying to get past me. By the time I come in the pits though, I think the gap to Bottas is, it's not going to be huge, but for them to catch up and close the gap, they're going to have to use a lot of their tyres to do it, because Bottas is comfortable. That's it, I'm in the pits. Verstappen is finally unleashed, he has to try and close that gap. Hamilton will be happier because now Verstappen is not going to have anyone ahead of him in the, on the next lap. He can use that to his advantage to try and close the gap and use the DRS to overtake. Staying there. Alban, doing what Alban does best, just nothing at all. Oh, I've come out ahead of my teammate. That is exactly what I needed. I don't think it would have been good if my teammate would have been ahead of me. I've got to try and get past these guys as quick as possible. Oh, look at that, diving down the inside like a maniac. I've got the Haas team in front of me. Who's that there, the Renault? Oh, there's quite a few people coming in the pits now. Well, let's skip to the action. All right, let's watch this pit stop. How quick is it for the McLaren? That was quite a quick stop there. There's quite a few people going. 
we have managed to jump ahead of quite a few people who've gone in the pits now. What we need to do. Who are we battling now? The Alpha Tory of Gasly. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We are rivals. We'll stay on board this battle here. Our rival in the championship at the moment. Not on points. Oh, what is he doing? He's going as slow as possible. He's deliberately blocking me. This is a battle. Oh, this is an absolute crazy battle. We are just taking each other off the track there. Proper wheel-to-wheel -wheel fighting there. Screw you, Gasly. Screw you. Right there, the racing points just ahead. Their tyres are getting worn out. We're going to jump to Hamilton and Verstappen who are still battling. Bottas. Way, way ahead still. He doesn't even have to push. He can just relax. Verstappen and Hamilton just cannot close the gap. I don't think these are going to be in the pits anytime soon. Cancelis finally in the pits. Quite a few people are coming in the pits now. And get to the back of the grid. There's my teammate. Still battling at the back. Bottas, still leading with a gap. Stafford and Hamilton are still very close. Once again, the second race in a row where they've just been battling. I'd love to see them in the same car. Just so we know truly who is better. Okay, so I've got a racing point just ahead of me. It's Stroll, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Stroll is just ahead of me. Surely he'll be coming in the pit soon. gone wide there that wasn't good I'm pushing a little too hard at the moment trying to gain more positions trying to get ahead as much as I can to try and give myself a chance against those with a faster tire they still haven't gone in the pitch yet let's stay with Bottas to see if he will go in the pits who is going to blink first between these front runners? Will Bottas go in first or will he allow his teammate to do it seeming? He has got a nice advantage at the moment. He could go in first and then undercut. I don't think. I don't think Hamilton can undercut B Bottas. Bottas is too far ahead. Or no, nobody's going in the pitch yet. Will Vettel? No, none of these are going in the pits. Will Albon go in the pits? No. None of them have gone in the pitch yet. Try my best to close up on them. Everybody else has been in the pits, I think, apart from the front runners. My teammate is doing an okay job. Hopefully, I'll be able to give him the car needed to get some points soon. It'll be nice to see him challenging eventually. Is Bottas going to go in the pits? It's still close between Hamilton and Verstappen. I just... I can't see the positions changing on track. Hopefully someone's going to go in the pits very soon. We've got... Is Bottas? No. 
Will Verstappen go in the pits? Yes, and Hamilton has gone at the both of them have gone in the pits. Will stay with them. Can Hamilton's team can Mercedes jump the Red Bull? This is gonna be close. Who is it gonna be? Ferrari, clearly not. Yeah, Red Bull have managed to stay ahead of Mercedes. Albon is now in second place. Where am I? Here I come. Can I get ahead of any of them? I've managed to get ahead of Vettel. But Hamilton and Verstappen are ahead of them. It's just too much. But we have Vettel who is on the faster tyre. Will he hunt me down? These are really a factor in the win. Oh, hang on. I am trying to catch up with Hamilton. I don't have the tyres, but I can really do... I can push it. The soft tyre has not switched on yet. I've still got the grip on the harder tyre. And I've got DRS. I think it might be too much. Vettel. Vettel in a faster car on faster tyres. Can he close the gap? There's a gap opening up between Verstappen and Hamilton at the moment. Bottas. Well, he's, he's just off in the distance, isn't he? He's doing his best. He's been in the pits. And he's actually lost time. I made a mistake there. He's not off in the distance. I think there has been a bit of a mess up in the pits because Verstappen and Hamilton have closed the gap slightly to Bottas. Has Bottas been taking it too easy? Verstappen beating Bottas. He might, but it's going to be a very difficult ask of him. He's in a Mercedes sandwich. I'm still there, trying my best to keep up. We have Vettel, who is doing his absolute best to keep up. Can he use his tyres, though? He's getting closer and closer. Oh, this is not good. Hamilton's getting further and further away. And Verstappen's pulled a tiny bit of a gap to Hamilton. Bottas seems a bit more comfortable at the moment. Yeah, there's a bit of a gap between all of us, but this is the battle. We're going to stay with myself and Vettel for now. Can the four-time world champion get into fourth place? Give himself a bit of a boost. This is what Vettel needs, he needs a boost so he can finally get back on track. Mercedes and Red Bull have been too far ahead. But Ferrari are starting to pick up again. Leclerc, Leclerc has proved that in the last few races. Vettel didn't so much in the last one, but this race he has proven it. He has done a really good job. Leclerc's done a fantastic job to catch up again, but this is Vettel's race. Can Vettel do it? Oh, I cut a corner there. That was very naughty of me. But I haven't gained any time. In fact, I've lost it. Will Vettel do it? Here we go. He goes to the inside line, but he breaks a bit early. It's going to be a bit difficult. Who 
who is going to win this race. Who is going to finish in the top three? We know who's going to finish at the back. Obviously, it's going to be the Williams drivers again. They are battling now. Let's give them a bit of time. We did this in the last race. They had a bit of a battle to see who was going to finish last. Oh, what a move. Can he keep it? Oh, look at this for wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. The Williams drivers are doing exactly what no one else is doing. Actually racing. They're battling. Oh, this is fantastic stuff by the women. If only this was at the front of the grid. If only this was for the win or for some points rather than last place. What a battle they're having. This is just fantastic. I know it's for the back of the grid, but it's still an exciting battle. Okay, at the front. Bottas, Verstappen, Hamilton, myself and Vettel are still battling. And one gone. Let's see if I could stay ahead of him. Got DRS again. It's been a rather good battle between myself and Vettel. I can't say I'm disappointed as such with the result because obviously I'm not in a super fast car, but I'm disappointed that I was never able to use a different strategy. He's just pulled a huge gap ahead of Verstappen. Still, the battle continues between myself and Vettel. Oh, it's getting close. You know we're going to stay with this battle. We'll stay with this battle now. This is the battle. I think he's close enough. I really don't think he's close enough this time. No, I don't think he is. Oh, I'm gone. No. Fantastic race. Oh. Go away, Vettel. <sighs> Jeez. Wheel to wheel racing now. This is only for fourth place as well. See at the front, Hamilton's still third, Verstappen's still second, and Bottas is on his way to win the race. Yeah, there's going to be no changes there, but this is the closest battle I think we've got. Oh, hang on, we've got a battle here. A three-way battle. No, it's not as close. This is, the be this is the best battle we've got on track at the moment. It's the closest one. There's like little battles going on, but this is the one for fourth place, the one that matters the most at the moment. Vettel trying to redeem himself, me trying to give my team the best opportunity to gain more points, more money. Oh, 
Oh, he's right behind me. But I think I've got it. And there you have it. Your race classifications after that amazing Spanish Grand Prix. Bottas wins, Verstappen second, Hamilton third, quite comfortably. The closest battle was behind between me and Vettel. Carlos Sainz, Leclerc and Albon. That was a great battle. We didn't see much of it. We saw a little glimpse at the end when they're finally battling properly. So the racing points are the ones that get in the points. Renault miss out. So does Lando Norris once again. My teammate finishes in 16th position. Well done to him. He had a great race in the end. And the Williams team, it was Russell who came out on top again after he started last. Right, let's go to the interview. performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? It really is the power train. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? You had a bit of contact today. Who was at fault there? <laughs> Uh, you know what, let's, let's add a bit of sauce to this rivalry. Not me, they need to look where they're going and stay out of my way. That's it. There was quite a lot of contact today, wasn't there? Yeah, we're going to go with this. I think I gave as good as I got out there. Appreciate your time. He damaged the car, how dare he? How dare Nabuharu cost us money? Oh, let's see, it's a sponsor contract, so one or more of your sponsors are due to for renew. You can renew your current contract or form new partnerships. Let's have a look. Right, 70 days, weekly, 136. I need a big one. 154, Atlantic. Peter Tartle of 75 laps during a race weekend. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't think I'll get that one either. So I've got to add a new sponsor. We've got all these to do as well. Messages. We've got no messages. Archive. We've got them at the moment. The Monaco Grand Prix is next. So we've got one, one million. I don't want to spend it just yet. Corporate. Okay, we'll sort this out. Uh, let's get down. What have we got at the bottom? That ain't what I want. Zigzag now. 134. 174. What's this? Achieve and hold first position for two laps. Hmm, not yet. I can do that when we get a better car. Achieve a top 12 finish during the race. I can do that. See, that one, I can do that. But I want a better one. Uh, qualify your rival. Score 10 Constructors Championship points during a race weekend. Now I could do that, technically. 
As a team complete a total of 10... See, that's not a lot of money, though. Top 10 position. I could do that. Beat your rival during a race. No, I might just do that, because I can actually beat Gasly. We'll do that for now. Um, contracts. Oh, I don't know. Driver market. I haven't really got enough to get anybody. One million. I could buy a new driver, maybe. I'd, I need more money, don't I? Right, let's see how much money I can earn. Activities, say 12 we got. Chassis, where everything else goes down there. That's the best one, power train. Minus cash. That's free day. So we could go money for that one. Then that one. And then two days, we got less cash though. Resource points and chassis for free day now. The two day one is less cash, but our team is plus 100 resource points. Let's do it. So we can advance. Okay, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. R&D, let's upgrade our car. The chassis that needs to be upgraded. We've got a thousand. Roll dampers. I can start undoing these now. Okay, what we're going to do... Yeah, okay, we're going to continue. we got R&D progress. Where are we? Just below Renault McLaren, above the Haas team, slightly. Progress history. Not bad. Mercedes are still. They've got a, a little bit of a gap to Red Bull. Vehicle. I'm keeping that for now. I've got vehicle. Gearbox. It's fine, we can keep it for the next one. No, I'm not ordering a new one. Could I order a new one? There's no penalty. now if I do that. Now we'll wait. What's the point? It's going to be... Merce it's going to be a Mercedes win or a Red Bull win. We ain't got a chance at Monaco. Um, let's have a look at our driver situation. 70. It's better than some of them. 65 70 anybody worth less who I can build up better than him anybody worth a million 1.6 million we've got oh a lacy see he's not as good Schumacher That's, no, that's not who I wanted. No, no, Schumacher. I'm going to watch him and compare. Okay. Experience is the same. Racecraft, 10 less. And he's had no races there. Awareness less. His pace is only 3 less than him. Base salary, 1 million. See, his is 2 million. Hmm. Hmm. Driver perks. Here's where you can buy perks to become a better driver. Okay. Social media. Power mapping. Engine will be reduced by ten percent. Over their base salary, but you can buy your own with the team's cash. One of the benefits of being the yeah, boss. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, 
Mud of that. Uh, let's just unlock them all for now. I'm not going to be buying anything else. Okay, that is it for now. Right. Thank you all for joining me. We will see you all very soon at the Monaco Grand Prix. See you soon.